Welcome to the office. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. How are you doing? Going good. So you're coming back from Florida? Yes, sir. Coming for a tune-up or are you just visiting? Visiting and a tune-up. All right. Tell me, how you how did you do with your first visit or those few sessions we had? So when so at that first visit, I actually actually did all right. Uh, walked walked better. Okay. Probably walk, probably that's the best I've probably walked in years. Okay. So uh, I I did what you uh, prescribed to me. So walking, 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 walking. walking, walking. Right, I see. Wrote, wrote, Icing, uh, right knee left to go backwards. Instead of just doing five minutes, I did ten minutes. Okay, just great. to just try to speed things up. So, okay. I did that for about a month or two. Then I then I slowly eased my way back into trying to trying to get active, working out. Started light first couple of weeks. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. So then as we as we slowly try to ramp up, you know, try to try to get some of my strength back out. And one of the exercises, you know, just normal normal stuff. What does that mean, normal? Because uh, your normal and my normal may be different. <laughs> may be a little different. So no, so just routine. So any any time I any time I exercise, I warm up, I stretch. Okay. So during so during during my first set, which I I tend to go a little bit heavy. What are we talking about? Oh, dead, oh, working on my back deadlifts. This is so this is like so <laughs> with a bar, uh, trap bar. Okay. Still yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, trap bar way better. Yeah. So I try I try to push a little bit. Um, this so this is like third week, third week just getting back into trying to catch rhythm. Okay. I felt something pop, okay. but but even though I felt something pop, you know, it, it, it was just like okay, maybe maybe just something that uh has been used in a while. No big deal, you know. I was able to move. I was able to move whatnot. So then, about four four or five days later. You felt. <laughs> I felt it started getting slow. I, f I started feeling stuff. I was like, oh no. Yeah. But but uh, but um you know I still I still Are stretch. You still doing them? Yes. Okay. Well but I, I did I did stop. Okay, I did here's stop. my suggestion. Okay. I'm not a fan of deadlifts when you're rehabbing or you're yeah. healing. Okay. So let's look at it this way. Three months. Okay. No deadlifts. Okay. Do Supermans. Okay. Start with Supermans. And when you're going back to that, start with dumbbells. Okay. Okay. Dumbbell deadlifts, I'm okay. Or kettlebells if you guys have it over we there. We have kettlebells. Yeah. I would do kettlebells. Okay. Even better because you can control the arm movement. Okay. You can control as you're going down. Instead of doing this, maybe you got to do this. Right. Maybe you got. What I'm showing him is with the kettlebells. So with a bar, you got this, right? Right. You're doing this with the bar or this with the bar. You're like this or like this. So trap bar, you're there. Oh, like, sorry, trap yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah trap okay. bar is so, trap so bars bars like this. Bar. Correct. So with the trap bar, yes, the octagon, right? Correct. Okay, so with the trap bar, you still limit it in where how your hand position is. Correct. With the duh, with the kettlebells, you can turn the hands that feels better on your back. It's important. Okay. And before that, Superman's it's, it's all day long. Okay, okay number one. When you get back after about a month, if you want to just do the practice of the kettlebell. Okay. Okay. I'm talking like just 20 pounds though. Just the motion That's of fine. it. Okay. After three months, you start going a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Once you can do that uh, 50 to 60% your normal weight, let's say, with okay. the kettlebells. Okay. Then you try the trap bar. Okay. You try the trap bar. You'll see if those hands don't feel right. If those hands don't feel right, go back to the kettlebells. Cool. Cool. All right. What else? Uh, one of the other things I, I do now. Um, I have a, uh, I have a um, grip master. So I did, I just been using that to get my hands back in motion. So I stuck okay. it to you. I took it with me. Okay. Just I do. I try to do um, five, five sets of five every five seconds and switch arms. Right. Try to build, build a grip. Up. You're not squeezing my hand today. <laughs> <laughs> You ready to get started? Yes, sir. Let's do it. So, so the biggest thing for me right now, Tell me. Uh, my knee. So I was telling Shasha uh, to to keep it short. Uh, both knees are very angry, especially my right one. Why? That I am not from sure. From doing what? Like, did you feel a moment, a, an incident where you felt it? I don't recall, but I do know that one day I was just walking. I felt grinding and 
in this left knee. Okay. And then and then one one other day, there, I think it's below the kneecap. I don't okay. know what that is, but super tender. Walk for me, please. Okay. Walk to the corner of the room and back a couple of times. He's got good movement in the hips. That's good. One more time. Maybe the right one a little bit less. Have a seat. We'll check the knees at the end, okay? We'll tune them up. You here till Monday night, you said? Yes. You coming back for a follow-up on Monday or just today? I can I can come when no, I'm your choice. I'm, I'm pretty much free, so. Okay, your choice. Starting at the base of the neck. Hmm. C1, 15 points. Now, if I'm setting your upper cervical atlas, try not to sleep on your left side for a couple of days, okay, so it can heal up. All right. Otherwise, it won't hold. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Everything else is good. Family's good. Family's good. Right. They're in Colorado right now. Uh, my nephew plays quarterback foot football. Got an offer at the Air Force Academy. So they're out nice. There. Yeah. So they're out there at Colorado Springs checking checking it out. Good. Good for him. Yeah. L five and C one. Ten points. L five. The good news. Mid back's clear. This is all good. I'm getting here and I'm getting up top. Now, the reason I'm asking for that follow up, I'm doing that basement over here, I have a suspicion your third lumbar may show up. Okay. And the L3 goes to the knee. Okay. And if you didn't do anything out of the ordinary, there's a possibility, okay? Okay. This is five. This is sacrum. Feel that? Yeah. Four. That's three. That's two. Two is good. Three. Ooh, that's brutal. Four or five? I think four. Okay. All right. Fun times. Scoot forward a little bit. Sit back for me. Head down. Static. Motion, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let me take a look at this x-ray. Now, four looks worse, okay, mm -hmm. on the x-ray. Five was a little bit tender, but four was a lot sharper. And when we look at the x-ray here, we do see four is a PLSM. Of course it is. Okay, so we're gonna work on four then. We're gonna do four, we're gonna do C1, we're gonna have you walk, and then we're gonna tune up the stuff, okay? All right. All right, you ready? Ready. ready. Show 10. C1. Soft pinch of the SCM right there. Nice. That's a little baby. The rest. Gotcha. Deep breath in again. Blow it out. Let's walk that off, sir. Oh, I've got to bring out the bad boy today. <laughs> yeah. Let's go face down. So it's PLS and the concavity. Ooh, you can have a special listing beside the L5, guys. You know, it's interesting, that's what I mean. Tummy up. Up, hold it up for a sec. Let me get my contact right there. Drop it down. Good. So for that PLS, we want to torque, close the wedge. That way, I'm on the mammillary, bringing it back. Drop the tummy, sir. Nope. That's not it. Come up slowly. 
Drop just to get a little more. Oh. Drop that right shoulder. There you go. Good. Wait for it. Step away from the vehicle. Let's walk it out. Let's recheck. Set up straight. Let's go forward a little bit. It's, uh... See, one is clear. Mid back is a little heat there. Oh, a lot of icing this weekend, okay? Got it. L4 is clear, let's feel it. Come back slowly. That's five. Five. Four. Different? Different. set on that on Monday though. Okay. Just to make sure All right. Right, the thing stays put. When you hear that pop guys, typically if it's bad form for any reason or have really, really heavy weight, it's that ligament. It's the ligament popping. When it's a deep conk with a pop, like that deep one, that's more the disc. But that's usually if you're flexed, meaning this. So when you're holding it, if you're going down like this, and you're not keeping that arch in the back, and we're not bending, you want to be bending at the hips, okay? And sometimes what happens, we're in a rush, or we, you know, we're not thinking about it, and we go down like this. As soon as we do that, that ligament will pop, mm -hmm. especially when you're doing big heavy weights. Yeah. Okay? Let's go on your back. Let's get those, let's tune up those knees. I might get rid of that, slide down a little bit. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Raise the left. That's posterior tibia on the back side. There you go. Raise the right side. That's posterior tibia. Left side up. Sit up and turn, sir. Let's check the shoulders, ears, shoulders. Shoulders are good. Walk it up. Make sure you're good with that. Good. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. I'm not the grip machine. <laughs> Ready? Squeeze. Squeeze. A little bit on the elbow. Let it go. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. There. Squeeze. Set. Thank you. I will see you Monday. All right, sir. Icing and walking. That's it. Got it.